strong, be smart and be bold. The motto is simple, but for many looking in from the outside of this organisation, there is a stigma attached to being part of the Girls Inc. family. After just several hours of volunteering at Girls Inc., I have to admit, I have not had as much fun in a long time. These young women inspired me. Today, I'll be looking at the work of Girls Incorporated in Washington County. Welcome to Headline News. I have been working at Girls Inc. since June of 2004, so quite a lot of years. I work directly with the girls. I'm a program counselor, and then just recently, I've become the um, volunteer coordinator. Oh, we do all kinds of activities. They do sports and arts and crafts, and we have a lot of um, national programs because we are a nation nationwide organization. We do a lot with pregnancy prevention, economic literacy. Um, we do a lot with um, science and math. So it's a wide range of stuff. Girls Inc. caters for girls from families of all economic backgrounds. There's no standard. It can be any girl. Um, we do serve a lot of girls in this end of Hagerstown. A lot are lower income. Some are single parent families. Um, but again, there's no stipulation. So it's just a wide range of girls that are looking for an after school program. There's an old saying in show business, never work with animals or children. So what inspires Stacy? Just to see them grow. They really do flourish here. I think we provide a great program, a lot of opportunity for them to um, to just have a lot of different experiences. So it's just fun watching them grow from day to day and year to year. Does anybody know why you're having to eat today? No. Well, we have the election. Spencer Jackson is a pregnancy prevention instructor. He believes the motto of Girls Inc. is key to the success of any young woman. I've been with Girls Inc. for probably about two years. I do a role with uh, Washington County Public Schools. We have a relationship with them to go in and teach them like a life skills class. Uh, I work here with the girls doing music, basic music lessons. Um, I do a little bit of film, things like that. I, I dabble in the entertainment, so you know I'm trying to pass that on to the girls who have that same kind of flame to get into that. I asked Spencer what were the highlights of working at Girls Inc. The girls, period. That, I mean, you come here every day, you get a smile, you get a crazy story. I get to make them laugh. You know, it's a joy. They're my best audience and some of them are my biggest fans. You know. As a performer himself, Spencer also admits they can also be his biggest critics. They are, but you know what? That's what I need, good, honest feedback. And that's probably what keeps me here. Girls Inc. covers everything. I mean, from field trips to special visitors coming in and workshops. We do classes, not like your typical school class. We try to cover things that the schools don't cover, you know, so that the girls are getting a classroom structure, but not the same classroom setting they've had all day long. But, you know, we do with literacy, uh, issues on health, uh, sports, arts, anything that these girls would be interested in, we try to give it to them in the best way possible. I mean, we definitely are an advantage to someone maybe who couldn't afford after school. You know, it's a very, very reasonable rate for the girls to come here. We do have all kinds of families, all economic and cultural backgrounds come to Girls Incorporated. We're kind of conveniently located, you know, here on the West End. You know, everybody can kind of get to us. Uh, we have a summer program also. Um, and even in that, the range of the families that we cover and the girls we cover seems to expand. As with all nonprofits, funding is crucial. We are a United Way agency, so we do get United Way funding. We do a lot of grants as well, and then we also um, have sponsors, funders. We do some fundraising events. We have a wine event. We also do a bonanza each year. So there's lots of different avenues that we receive our funds. Girls can come as young as six and they can stay as old as 18, but usually they stop coming once they get to high school because they get involved in other things. We do rely on volunteers. We're actually trying to build our volunteer base. Um, we started really doing that last year. We have some girls that come weekly. Um, we have a couple volunteers that come every day. Um, 
but we are always looking for new volunteers. We do look for homework help. We have a lot of girls this year that need help with their homework. Um, we do have people that come in just one day a week to help specifically with that. We have some people that come to help with dinner. So we have a lot of volunteer options um, and we're always looking for more volunteers. Nikki James is new to the Girls Inc. family. She has been volunteering for just two months, but she says it's fun and she already knows which age group she prefers to work with. About 10 because they're more easier to work with. <laughs> I would say that they should come and join Girls Inc. because it's a very fun and helping other kids learn. There's no specific time. We have a lot of volunteers that just call that day and say, hey, I have an hour or two. I'd love to stop by. Um, and that's always perfect because there's almost always something for them to do. I asked Stacy if she could have one wish. What would she wish for the future of Girls Inc. in 2013? I was expecting her to say more funding, which is very common for nonprofits in Washington County. I was surprised by her response. To open the minds of the community. Um, I think some of the girls, I've heard girls comment before that they're embarrassed to get on the Girls Inc. van or they're embarrassed to, for other people to know they come to Girls Inc. because there is that stigmatism. And I think that if, as a community, they knew the great work that we did and the great girls that we have, it would ease some of that um, embarrassment for the girls that do come here. Because once they're in the doors, they're great. But to have that peer pressure and that bullying at school is really just disappointing because they're doing something great, they're having lots of fun, and the other children just don't know that it is a cool place to come. How long have you been coming to Girls Inc? Uh, this is my second year. Two years. Three years. Yeah. Um, we go outside and we go on field trips. We went camping. Some come for volleyball. I learned a great deal about Girls Inc and it seems my accent was quite the novelty. I love tacos and I'm Harry Styles. Hello chaps. <laughs> Pip -pip, cheerio, would you like some biscuits and tea? <laughs> for more information about the programs available at Girls Inc of Washington County, you can check out the website. There's also information on the website about any volunteering opportunities at Girls Inc. Until next time on Headline News, cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> Be bold and stand out. Girls Incorporated, all day.